these fireworks are not live. These fireworks are from Charleston. Oh, Charleston, West Virginia. Sorry about that. This is on the computer. This is live. When I worked for Pinkerton Security, I was... Uh-oh. Uh, I was assigned to go up there and be posted at the storage tanks for, I think it was Ashland Oil. Anyhow, these fireworks are being displayed at the riverbank. And I was across the river from where they were. There's all kinds of boats in the river and stuff to watch it. And they told me that we were there. There was me on the dock. And there was another person up at the storage tanks. Anyhow, they said we were posted there just in case anything happened. I told my boss that the only thing that was going to happen if something did happen was I was going to get out of there. But at the time, I didn't have my leg injury. And it was a very long climb up the steps to the highway. That was my only escape route. But anyhow, um, they are so much prettier when you were there. I mean, they were so huge. And to watch them get this stuff ready to go off was an all-day process. I got there, I think it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. And we stayed till after the fireworks was over, which was probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, maybe even later. But it was awesome. But I want to tell you a funny story. They had all these boats in the river. Everybody was watching the fireworks. And there was this one guy just down below the docks. <laughs> he was uh, using the bathroom off the end of the boat. There wasn't any lights on, but I'll tell you what. About two feet from me, within arm's length, was a switch for a spotlight. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I did think about switching it on. I know, that's mean, I know. <laughs> But you got to admit, it would have been funny. But the good part of me said, no, that wouldn't be right. These fireworks were amazing. And more than the fireworks itself, I watched them all day set this stuff up and watch how they had to wire it together and, and to get it to go off just so-so. That's what I found amazing. I wished I had thought and taken a set of binoculars with me. It was really awesome. That was the only time that I was assigned to go up there. No, I didn't tell anybody what I <laughs> thought about doing. And that's not the reason I didn't go back. Truth be known, we probably lost the contract. I hope everybody is having a 
great 4th of July week. It's not a weekend. I went down and helped a friend move today. And if she sees this, she can tell you who she is if she wants to. But I have been gone all day. And I'm really, I was shocked that she even called and asked for help. But I was so glad that I could. Y'all know me. I like helping people. Especially my friends that have turned family. I thought about going to our own riverfront park and watching the fireworks. But you know what? It's no fun by yourself. I mean, I've gone down there plenty of times with this boyfriend or that boyfriend or whatever. But it's just not the same with somebody without somebody. I don't care who it is. It's no fun by yourself. I don't know what kind of picture quality this is going to be. Like I said, this is live on the computer, so. Sorry about being so shaky. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to hold still, but my hands and legs, not hands and legs, my hands and arms are shaky from working all day. And Richard, <laughs> if you're watching this, you know your mom gave me that back. But I know where you live. I know you told me today that you watch my videos, and I sure appreciate it. Should be coming up on the finale. I've been on here eight minutes already. And I know y'all get bored. I wish you all could have seen it from my point of view way back then because I was probably, well, let's see if I can get it without too much. I was probably right here along the river at the dock for the storage tanks. Yeah, gasoline storage tanks. I think I had the best seat in the house. Well, I didn't have a seat. I stood all day, all night. But, yeah, I bet I had the best place to watch them at all. I guess this is supposed to be the finale. Seems like for the finale, they always let off more noise than something you can watch. here in the city it's supposed to be illegal to put off anything that goes boom or goes up in the air well when I was coming home from helping these people move driving through town yeah there's not a lot of people that's listening to that and where are the police when you need them When 
I lived up in the small apartment. The drunks in the alley was letting off bottle rockets and stuff, and they were hitting my window and hitting the back of the apartment. And darn, wouldn't you know, somebody called the police. A few years ago. A few years ago. A little town across the river. Some kids were setting off bottle rockets and stuff in the middle of the night. And they hit a house. I, I think it was on the roof. Caught the house on fire. And I was really sad to say that two elderly people died in that house that night. So y'all think about that and when next time you go set something off. close to houses. Well, I thought that was a finale a little while ago, but I guess not. I'm not going to do anything tomorrow because my legs and I, they hurt. And I am so tired, but it's a good kind of tired because I got to help somebody move to a better place. And I know that they're going to be so happy there. Okay, this has already gone at 12 minutes, and I'm sure you all are bored. <laughs> bored of the picture or bored of me talking? I don't know, maybe both. But anyhow, I'm going to get off of here. You all have a safe and happy 4th. <clears throat> Excuse me, a 4th of July. Enjoy the time with your family. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And happy 4th of July. There goes the finale. I'm glad I waited. Oh, listen to little baby crying. Now I can hear them going off here in our city. If I went out to the sidewalk, I could probably see them, but my legs aren't too bad for that. There went one down. Hope it went into the river. Okay, that's it. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a safe and happy fourth. Bye. All right, folks.